Hello friends, welcome again. And this is my new project online fashion store. And I have developed this project in uh, Java Spring Boot, Angular, and MySQL. Java Spring Boot version I am using is 2.1.6 release. Angular version is uh, uh, 12, and the MySQL version is 5.6. For port, I am using port 4200 for running the Angular application. Port 8080 for running the microservices, which we have implemented in the Spring Boot, and uh, MySQL version is 5.6. Right. So for IDE, I have used STS Spring Boot tool suits for uh, implementing, for developing the Spring Boot applications, Visual Studio Code for developing the uh, Angular application, and Jam for MySQL. Right. So these all technology stacks I have used for developing this project online fashion store. So let's start with the features uh, and functionalities. What are the features available inside this project online fashion store? So this is a uh, project uh, we have developed in Spring Boot, Angular, and MySQL, and it's a mini project which has only a, and only customer operation. There is no admin operations inside it because it's a mini project. But if you want uh, admin operation, there is a uh, different projects available on the website. You can watch the video for that also. So once you run this project on port 4200, you will get this home page. So this is the dynamic page. You can see these are the products coming on the home page. It's a dynamic, right? If you want to buy any product, just click on the buy now button. You will be able to see the details of the product. You can see details of the product, cost and company and everything. Once you click, click on add to cart, it will ask your login details. But there is a restriction inside the system. You can't buy the product without uh, login, right? So there is a restriction inside this project. So you must have user ID and password for buying any of the product. So this is about project. This is a static page. There is nothing dynamic on it. This is all products. All of the products which is available inside the database will be displayed here, right? So you can add any product from the database directly. This is a customer login from here. Customer can log in. If you don't have user ID and password, then you can register from here. This is a registration form. This is a contact us page. This is a static contact us page. I am not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere. Even we are not sending any type of email and SMS from this page. So the user ID is amit at the gmail.com and password is test. Once you log in, you will get this home page. All right. So this is the layout after the user login. So here you can see home I already explained dashboard about all categories. So all categories, there is no all categories space. Right? So that is the you know this is the all products I already explained you. This is the my card. From here you can see all of the my cards, but there is no items available inside your cards. That's why it's showing blank right so next one is uh my orders you can see all of the my orders you can see this these all are the orders which you have placed right if you want to see the details of the order just click on this arrow icon you will be able to see the details of that order this is a my accounts page from here you can update your account details right so my orders and my account here now i am going to add some of the products into my cart and going to make a payment so buy now so add to cart you can see that item has been added into the cart all products buy now add cart so two item so continue shopping this is this one add to cart so three items right if i want to delete anyone just click on the delete button and that item will be deleted once you click on the checkout then it will ask your credit card details so this is a dummy page there is nothing dynamic on it even we are not uh, making a type of external thing you can add whatever you want to add right so this is a dummy page only so total amount you are going to pay is this much right once you click on make payment you will be able to see your order details you can see order number is 301 and total amount you paid is this one right if you want to see that it into your order history just click on the my orders you will be able to see it into the order history so you can see that right so the last option is the logout so this is the session driven menu and if you click on the logout the session will be destroyed and this menu will be changed let me show you log out and you can see session has changed login it has it is coming so it's a session event right? so these all features i have implemented inside this project this title is online fashion store as i told you earlier this is a mini project which has only and only customer operations there is nothing uh, there is no admin operations in it right and this project we had a in java spring boot angular and mysql version i already explained you earlier so if you need any enhancement any new features inside this project just put it into the comments i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos of the latest technologies 
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग वीडियो थैंक यू वेरी मच